Hi, welcome to the podcast by Dr. Shushma Singh. Let us start conversation on Unit 13, Agitation and the Policy of Positive Discrimination and Affirmative Action. Let us continue the conclusion of the unit. Some manifestations of the conflict do occur in contemporary India in the form of agitations, protests, struggles and sometimes violent incidents. Some of the maskers of disadvantaged groups by the upper caste and instances of retaliation by the disadvantaged groups against the upper caste reflect the growing caste consciousness identity and hatred towards each other rather than understanding the diversity in a positive manner with a concern for the deprived groups. Vindictive attitudes on the part of dual caste and the tribes taking recourse to the law for every act of omission and commission also sometimes petitiates the trust among each other. Will the emerging knowledge society contributes to the emergence of a more just and civil society or will it further widen the gap between both the groups, the oppressors and the oppressed is a question to be debated and answered by the policy makers in 21st century India. One of the factors which the policy has not addressed so far and what needed to be addressed before we embark upon a new direction and future of affirmative action policy is the level of social, economic and educational deprivations within the dual caste and stool tribes. The deprivations differ across region, subcaste, tribe and gender. It may not be feasible to have a uniform policy across the country because of the varied conditions, diversity and attitudes prevalent in different regions and states. There is therefore a need for evolving indicators so that the facilities reserved for these communities are not utilized by a particular spectrum among these communities denying benefit to several others who are not so articulate and knowledgeable. There is an urgent need to identify these neglected groups among the SC and STs and educational supports may be extended comprehensively right from the lowest levels of the educational ladder that is primary and secondary schools and also particularly given to the first generation learners among the SC and STs and women. Even in the context of bringing them into the fold of knowledge society the feeder streams to higher education need to be strengthened and given impetus. Another important policy issue is that of developing mechanism for socio-psychological integration of the SC and ST students in order to enhance their self-confidence and self-esteem to take on the challenges of adjusting to the climate of higher educational institutions so that the problems of dropping and non-performance could be tackled. Therefore, greater emphasis can be placed on the basic structural changes in the economy and society through the formulation of an affirmative action policy suiting the requirements of the future. If attempts are not made to arrest inequality that continues to increase in the country maximum damage 
will occur only to the members of these castes and tribes because their condition is already bad. These attempts may pave the way for at least the 21st century India emerging as an egalitarian civil democracy in which each one has a role to play in the development process and the social cohesion. Here we wind up this conversation and thank you so much for choosing this podcast. With this we come to the end of the unit 13 education and the policy of positive discrimination and affirmative action. Thank you again for listening this podcast.